Okay, I've got seven inches done. I removed most of my weights because I don't really need them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a row of eyelets. And I just want to get... And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a single tool transfer. Now according to the written pattern which is offered by freevintageknit.com this the eyelid ends were supposed to be every fourth one but I didn't read the directions so I did it every every third okay so I'm going to keep the way I did it I was going to keep it going I just take one, remove my stitch holders, and move it over one. And just continue that down the line. This is one of the easiest slippers I've ever made. If you wanted to make it for a smaller person, you just take off four stitches. And the length, you would just want to be down the ankle and up around and back up to the next, the other ankle, and that's how long you want it to be. Now if you're doing it the way the pattern does it, you're going to move these two, the ones that are purled, over. And once I get this done, I will knit two, I did three rows, pattern calls for two, but I wanted a little bit of a lip on it. I'm going to move the weights down so that, out. Be careful, those, those ends, they're kind of sharp. Okay, where am I? Right here. And just move them over. And we are almost done this slipper. I think all told it might have taken about from start to fish, finish, sorry, not fish, about an hour and a half. Give her stubborn latch. Okay, come on in so I can show you what you're doing, what I'm doing. Okay. And our battery's almost dead. I'm going to try to finish it in time. So I am just grabbing the stitch and moving it over. Okay. Now I'm going to shut it off to finish this up and I'll be back. 